So a big part of biomedical engineering is understanding what medical equipment does, knowing how to fix it, and being able to come up with new ways to use it and new versions. So today we're going to learn about the stethoscope and we're going to even make our own stethoscope out of a balloon, a funnel, and a vinyl tube. So you're going to need a funnel, a plastic funnel. It could be kitchen funnel, car funnel, whatever you can find. You're going to need a balloon, a fairly big balloon, some scissors, a sharpie, and a large vinyl tube. So the first thing we're going to do is mark our balloon where we're going to want to cut it. So the easiest way to do it is to try to think about you want it to be thinner on the bottom than it is on the top, but you don't want it to be so thin it won't fit around the funnel. So I usually like to mark it right about here on the balloon and just give it a little dotted line so I know to cut right there. Now I'm going to take our scissors and we're going to cut our balloon right on that line. And there you go. So now I'm going to take our funnel. We can see this funnel has a little sticking out part here. The best thing you can do is just kind of push it down and away because um, it's just going to make this more difficult. Now this part's kind of hard, so we're going to try to stretch the balloon all the way over the funnel. This is one of the most difficult parts, like that. So it's covering the entire funnel, otherwise our stethoscope will not work. So make sure all the edges are in and covered because any leakage could make it not work as well. So the next thing we're going to do is take our large vinyl tube and we're going to shove it right in the tube. Now we have our stethoscope and what you can do is you can get a partner and if you put this to their chest, you're able to hear your partner's heartbeat and you've just made your own stethoscope. And if you have any questions or comments, you can always leave them below.